everyone, Carmen Kelly, Pipe Girl here. Happy Freehand Friday. Today I'm smoking my um, Dr. Grabo Freehand. And in it I have Dutch Masters Cherry Cavendish. All natural, imported, and domestic tobaccos. Aged, imported, and domestic smoking tobaccos laced with cherry liqueur. Specially created for today's taste. Made in USA by Set Love Tobacco Company. It reads, an uncommonly mild smoking mixture blended from the select prime leaf tobaccos of Europe, Africa, North and South America, and mellowed with a cherry liqueur. Slowly aged and gentled to enhance the natural tobacco taste and aroma. Take a look in there. It comes in this one and a half ounce pouch. And it, it does taste like, you know, every other over-the-counter pipe tobacco. And it's it's actually not bad. Um, it's mild. You can taste the cherry, but it's not overpowering. It's just, it's barely there. It's very mild in flavor. I'm not getting any tongue bite out of it. It burns well, stays lit. My pipe's not very hot. Although it can get hot yesterday when I smoked into my cob, my cob got pretty hot, but still no tongue bite. When you first light it, you can't really taste much, but then after smoking about a quarter of the bowl, uh, a little more cherry flavor comes in. So it actually turned out nice. And it's, it's not bad. I've had better cherry tobaccos and I've had worse cherry tobaccos that should have been better. So if you like cherry tobaccos, I would say give this a try. It comes in a pouch. I got two pouches of this. I got it from Sutliff. So thank you, John, from Sutliff. But um, I'm not sure where you can get this. But two pouches come in a pack, so it's three ounces. And it's not too bad. If this is all I had to smoke, I could, I could smoke it. So again, that's um, Dutch Masters Cherry Cavendish smoking tobacco. It tasted the same to me whether it was in the cob or the briar. I smoke it in a cob with a filter. Maybe without the filter it might have tasted a little better. So I would say this is probably a good tobacco to smoke in a cob. But anyways, thanks for watching. Y'all have a happy Freehand Friday and God bless.